Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of Super Mega Lucky Box by Game Right. Now this is a great uh, card game that kind of reminds me of Bingo. Uh, if you like Bingo, um, we used to live in Washington State, and my wife and I, and we used to play go to the Bingo places all the time, um, probably once or twice a month, and play Bingo. Um, and the state that we're currently in, they don't allow Bingo, so this is a great filler type of uh, game that allows us to experience that uh, without having to go somewhere. And so this is a great game. Um, love the mechanics and everything. And it's by Game Right. All their games that we played had been phenomenal and family friendly with quick and easy to learn game play and mechanics. So we're just gonna jump right into the review. So for the rules, I would get five out of five. Very simple rules. Uh, here's the setup and everything. They're... So pretty much what you're doing is you get five cards and you pick three cards that you're gonna be using. Uh, you get five lightning tokens. The lightning tokens allow you to kind of manipulate the numbers. Um, Determine on the light how many lightning tokens. If you use one, you can move uh, seven to eight or seven to six. Two, you'll be able to manipulate from seven to nine or seven to five. So, and you can use as many lightning tokens as, as you want. Uh, so, you'll be grabbing cards that will determine. So, if I pick a six, then I cross off a six. And so once you cross off a certain amount of numbers, let's just say I crossed off six, four, and five uh, throughout the game. So I'll be able to obtain the eight. And the way that works is you circle eight, and then you could use, you could uh, cross off any eight in your uh, cards. Also, if you cross off, let's say two, eight, and seven, and then you get a star, you'll be able to put a star on your card. This is the final scoring. So if you have one, you, you have uh, one point, four, you know, you, uh, two, you get four points, three, you get nine points. And so you, at the end, you tally up all the stars. You put them right here. This right here is you score, uh, for each X and then the game that you have not completed the card, you pretty much get, for each two X, you get one point. This is for um, pretty much the moons. If you have the most amount of moons, you get six points. The least you get negative six. So, and then if here is determined on if you completed, because there's four rounds, if you completed one whole card and the first one and the first, uh, Round, you get 15, point, 15 points. Two, you get 30 points, and then you just times it. So, and then if you finish the second one, you get 12 points. The um, Pretty much the second, if you get two, you get 24. And that's how it works. Um, so, a very simple game to learn. Um, it has a luck-based element to it, that there are strategic ways to play the game, and it's fun once you get like a roll of, uh, let's just say I got the two, eight, and seven, and then I got the five, six, and four at the same time. So I'll be able to do the eight and the star. And throughout the game, you'll be able to do that multiple times. Um, so it's just fun because it's just, a, it's like a ripple effect where you're uh, getting extra point, extra uh, abilities. So for the rules, five out of five. Uh, component quality, great component quality. The cards are nice and thick. They're, um, they got coating, so if you spill something, uh, it's easy to wipe. Um, also like the, the tokens, the lightning and the moon. Nice plastic, clean. So also like the pens and the ability to uh, erase and not have having to laminate anything so I could play multiple times and worry about if I, uh, 
you know, they're not sheets. So, so component quality, five out of five. Um, experience, I would give five out of five. Great experience. Uh, like I said, my wife and I love bingo. Um, we can't wait till the state actually uh, passes it where we're able to play, go to bingo halls. Um, just this reminds us of that. And it's extremely fun. Um, like the like base factor to it. Uh, this I can see being very popular um, as it gets more uh, steam. Also, if you know certain like environments, um, I can see this being huge. Uh, great little party game too. Uh, if you get if you buy multiple of these, you can have more people playing. And so you can have uh, if you buy several of these, you could it could be countless amount because it's just like bingo. You're putting out number and you're crossing off. So the the player count could be endless as long as you keep on playing or buying more of them. So great game uh, for the experience, five out of five. Uh, mechanics, I would give it a four out of five just for a simple luck base factor to it. Um, because there is uh, a lot of strategy and ways to, you know, um, pretty much manipulate the board as you're playing with the lightning tokens, the moons. Also, the way you select cards um, has a big factor to it. Because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you always have the higher numbers and the lower numbers. That way, as they become drawn, that you're able to cross off numbers at, throughout the whole game. So, so the mechanics, I would give it four out of five. Uh, just simply because of the like, base factor. That's why Ding did one. Uh, replayability, five out of five. High replayability. This is extremely fun. If you like bingo, wow. This uh, pretty much has the biggest bingo feeling type of game that um, we played. And we love bingo. So uh, five out of five in the replayability. Uh, overall total, I would give it like a... 4.8, 9.5 um, out of 10, 4.8 out of 5. Um, love this game. To see us playing multiple times. Um, also, if family comes over, um, playing with them, you know, and then if more people came over, uh, family members having to buy another one and implement it into the actual gameplay where we could have more than that. I think this one holds one to six players. Uh, so if you have a big family group, uh, all you have to do is buy another box and you're able to um, implement and, you know, just seamlessly play as a group. And so high replayability, love the game, uh, love the mechanics and also the uh, everything you can do in the game. Highly recommend for anyone that loves bingo. So 4.8 out of 5, 9.5 out of 10. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. I have a link of where by the game and we'll see you in the next video.